Hey guys, Zorgi Sanja and welcome to the channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I want to talk to you guys about the Wildlife Sanctuary Zones, aka the Safari Zones, within Power World about how the Pals actually spawn there as there seems to be a little bit of misinformation going around the tubes and the internets right now about how these things spawn. Some people say they take like different days to spawn different ones or like only so many few days one can spawn in or blah 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 blah. So let me just set it straight for you guys there's a very simple way you can literally go to these safari zones without leaving the zone you can totally reset whatever spawns there and you can literally just fly in a circle until you get what it is you are looking for now these safari zones well sorry safari zones sanctuary zones are actually really really cool because you can get to them pretty early in the game i mean there's the plateau beginning and as soon as you have like a flying mount you can fly straight over to this first one they're around level 20 ish when you get there so they're not too high up early on and you get very rare things there this is the second one. I believe they're on 35, 45 around here. And then the last one, they're like around 40, 40 to 50, the last one of here. And as soon as you have a flying mount, your flying mount can actually fly above the water. And with zero stamina, you won't actually drown or anything. So just get yourself a flying mount. Definitely a little bit faster than actually having a swimming mount. Well, actually, I haven't tested a swimming mount. But anyway, none of that matters is, is the pals that you get in here. You get a lot of cool pals in here. For example, pretty much all the pals at the bottom, well, minus the legendaries, this you get at the safari zone this this the, oh not that one this one and the easy way you can see is if you click these and you press uh, the habitat over there you can see it spawns within that one over there check the habitat they all spawn up there and this one is unknown lyleen spawns there grisbold spawns down below you can actually get yomotite ignis at the one we're at right now you can get menace thing you can get Ast astagon these guys are really great for mining as well you can even get blazement up at the top one this is a really strong guy for firepower you can get quiver you can get war sick you can get king packer at this one you can get so many different i really put at the first one yeah there's a lot of really cool powers you can get yeah early on as well like the grisbolt you can grab there from the what was it the first one i believe where is grisbolt grisbolt's near the bottom yeah the very first one there you can get him around level 20 and then you can breed with him use him he's a really great pal especially all of these ones as well it's like all the pals pretty much that all the pal trainers are using in the towers the same stuff there like literally lilene grisbolt valerius ozerk and shadow peak those are all five of the ones that they use in the pal tainer towers whatever you guys want to call them the team rocket or team sci-fi or whatever so basically come to the zone right and now we'll see when the pals spawn so let's wait for them all to spawn a little bit we've got some incineram knocks over there and then whatever else spawns you just want to fly around i usually just fly uh, like around like this clockwise got some war sex in over here we got some wampos over there we got some ignises over there really good power to have especially for like a mining place there we actually have verdash one of the more rare sightings of here and then you come around the top and we got verdash again you can go up top here i don't know how like accurate this is but i have tried over there sometimes and sometimes it doesn't work sometimes it does just a little bit finicky just like you know caress it a little bit but basically you just fly a circle like you fly around yeah you can still see everything down there keep flying okay we got the almondite ignis there got the wampos again you come around and then once they spawn in over here like once they render in see now we have quiver and completely different sometimes you get the same one sometimes not but i mean it's literally just because they all have a chance to spawn down here so like all of these pals could spawn the same ones on the same spot or different ones on a different spot it's all just rng but it basically just resets the spawn once they kind of like render out i guess so you can pretty much just fly around like this and you can get different powers to spawn up okay well he's apparently going to the moon so uh see you later ignis over there <laughs> bye bro so yeah we just keep flying around and we've got ignis is everywhere this time so let's see what i get that down the bottom this time and as well if you are on a flying mount and you use your flying mount to like attack and capture stuff you won't actually get the wanted level from the pidf officers down here if you do get wanted and spotted all you got to do is just uh, press escape and then hit respawn you obviously got it respawn somewhere but uh, at least you get rid of that wanted level so you don't need to worry about them so it seems like we've got a bunch of incinerams and wombos of here no more quiver this time so let's speed it up we'll do one more trip around just to show you guys that it does all respawn now we've got wombos up top doesn't look like we got any ignises this time around okay there we go we got some ignises at the end just fly back around got some more wombos so yeah just wait sometimes for it to like load in gotta wait for them to render in a little bit and now there should be like some stuff down here seems like we have a bunch of incineram knocks again so pretty much play around okay now we've got ignises again see we don't have any verdashes or any quiverns this time but yeah like i said oh there we go we've got a verdash over there and one pose so you just fly around like that in any of these zones and you will eventually get what it is you're looking for 
especially Safari Zone number three over there. That one's a really good one because it has really awesome pals for mining, like Astagon, Blazermut, and then the Menace thing I believe you can actually find at this one over here. Those are all really good. Even the Ignis is also good for a mining camp because he can power all your things that require kindling. He has level four kindling. It's a really great to have in your base. But that's it. That's it. Simple as that. Just fly around any of these zones. They'll reset everything for you. Oh yeah, we have a... That's not a penis, by the way. That is the Eiffel Tower. So uh, don't ask questions about that. Coming up in the next build video. If you made it this far, well, shout out the Eiffel Tower down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully this cleaned up a bunch of misinformation and you guys understand the Safari Zones. Come here soon. Grab yourself some really OP pals and just have fun playing Power. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you liked the video, please drop a like and a sub. It helps me out so much. And I'll catch you beautiful people in the next one. Augie say now. Run free and dive into the sky. Hear the